morning. It's a great day. Uh, rained some yesterday, and now we're into a, a sunny day maybe. But I looked at the weather, and it looked like it might be 20-30% chance rain the next several days. So you never know. We're into that summer summertime when it might rain every day, but it might not rain for a while. <laughs> you just never know. But today, this morning at least, looks like a beautiful morning. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, don't have much to say this morning, but was just thinking about something last night while I was eating dinner with the students. Uh, and um, thought that I'd bring that up this morning and see if y'all have anything to say. I just talk a little bit about how faith grows over time and in our lives. So talk a little bit about that. But let's start out with a prayer and then we'll hop right into it. So let us pray. God, thank you for the, the songs of the birds this morning and the fact that they tell us how beautiful your creation is. Um, that they might wake us up in the morning, that they might sit with us in the afternoon, uh, that they might um, be cooing a little bit when we go to bed. But thank you for the, the songs of the birds and all that they tell us about uh, how special we are to be a part of your beautiful creation. Fill us up with something good this morning. Help us to um, go throughout our days with faith in front of us, with love out front on our sleeves. Um, but be with us here this morning and, and fill us up with something good to get through the rest of the day doing your work in this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, so yesterday when I was um, walking around and getting ready for dinner with the students, I, I walked outside and was looking up at that hotel that they're building across the street and thinking about at the same time how quickly some of it has gone up in the last couple of weeks right that they're, um, they're doing a lot of cosmetic things on the outside while they're doing some things on the inside so it looks like a lot of progress is being made uh, it looks like they're putting bricks on the outside and things like that but at the same time I wondered why it seemed like it is taking so long for that building to come up. I remember uh, a couple years ago, we talked about it at our congregational meeting because we had to sign off on something for them to be able uh, to use our easements and to um, different things. There, there's reasons that we had to sign off on them being that close to us. So we were talking about it at this meeting and I was thinking to myself, you know, we'll sign off on this and they'll have it up as quick as possible. Um, it'll be one day, maybe one month, there won't be anything there, and the next month there'll be a building up. But it takes a long time to build a building, especially a building that that's, that's that big. Uh, it takes a, a long process. So uh, I remember when they were demolishing the, the bank building that was there before. Um, I remember when they leveled everything out and dug a big hole in the ground for the foundation of this building. I remember when they started to build things up. I remember when they had one story of the, you know, the escape stairwell, <laughs> the emergency exit stairwell, and then another story, and then they built another emergency exit stairwell. I don't know. Everything is going um, in stages, and it just seems like at the same time that it, it seems like they're doing pretty quick work, it seems like it's taking forever. And some of that is because I didn't really think about how long it would be um, for them to block off some of that road and that sidewalk. Or uh, one day, a few months ago, they um, had all their, their trucks parked down on North Clemson Ave down there, right outside of our lower parking lot, and it was a little bit inconvenient. Um, or I remember when they were doing some of the electrical work, they were in and out every all the time up and down that sidewalk. So... Um, I think some of what makes it seem like it's taking forever for that, that building to go up is the inconvenience of uh, them blocking off the sidewalk or every now and then they block off the streets or um, that kind of thing. The noise is un <laughs> unreal sometimes. It shakes the whole church building. Um, and so it's, there are some days when I'm thinking, why can't they just finish this building? <laughs> and uh, I just thought about how how long it takes for some things to happen. Um, and it was 
a weird day, I guess. I don't know. You know, some days are really nice and some days aren't. And some days it's really easy to have faith and some days it's not. And so I, I started thinking about how, how sometimes faith is like that too, right? Um, that we might want to just snap our fingers and have faith on any given day. But some days it seems like our faith takes forever to grow um, or that uh, it's just one of those days when everything's at a standstill or um, some days are, are really great and it seems like things are, are moving quickly. And so our faith grows and ebbs and flows over time. Um, just kind of like this building seems to be some days it goes up quick and some days it goes real slow. And, you know, there's passages in the Bible about that, um, about our faith growing. Uh, Jesus talks about our faith being like a mustard seed and then going out and growing anywhere and everywhere and growing into, he says, huge trees, but mustard seeds grow into bushes, I guess, more likely. Um, but still, our, our faith grows over time, and sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow, sometimes it feels like it's dying off, and sometimes it comes back um, when you least expect it. Um, so as I was looking at this monstrosity of a hotel that's going up right there next to our church, um, I was thinking about the timing that it takes to really develop into what it needs to be. That it's not just a quick snap of a finger. That it's not just putting up a hotel, but it's a lot of different things. You know, you gotta get the foundation, you have to get the electricity, you have to make sure all the utilities are working, you have to um, check things along the way to make sure they're square. Uh, it just takes a long time. Uh, maybe I'm spoiled watching them build a Habitat house on Bowman every year, it seems like it goes so quick. <laughs> But this hotel is taking a little bit of time. And so uh, we can we have to have the same patience with our faith, I think. Um, and knowing that it's going to come and go and speed up and slow down and um, that it takes some time. Because it's really tough to, uh, to hold on to our faith some days. And it's really easy to pass it on like nothing else on other days. So um, to have that kind of patience, I think, is something that's special. Any thoughts that y'all have about that or any ideas about what it feels like to to struggle with faith some days and to um, shout it out from the rooftops other days? I don't know. Uh, that's just kind of what I was thinking about was the time that it takes for, for things to develop in our lives, especially faith. Um, and there's a visual when we have this hotel being built and it takes so long right there. Um, but in faith sometimes there's not much of a visual. We just kind of have to feel it. And it's a little more difficult. But any thoughts that y'all have about that, I'd love to hear them. Um, I'm going to go get a little bit of coffee. Uh, it's been hard to wake up these last couple of days after a lot of driving. Um, but, um, but we'll see what today holds. And I hope that you guys have a good day as well. But let's pray and then we'll get into our days. God, we thank you for faith and for the fact that it grows over time in our lives. And we also thank you for all the things that you do to sustain us when our faith might feel weak, to give us joy when it feels like it's stronger than ever, to mold us and to mold our faith throughout our lives as, as our environments change, to, to mold our faith around our new environments and our new experiences. We give you thanks for all the different ways that our faith stays with us at uh, different points in our lives. We ask for the courage to keep it strong when, when we just quite can't quite do it. <laughs> and we ask for the humility to, to share it and to um, spread it out into the world when it feels like our faith is, is just what's leading us out in our lives. But thank you for your presence. Thank you for the presence of others who believe when we just quite can't. Uh, and thank you for uh, days, the days ahead in which our faith will lead us into good things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I will see you on Sunday, either online or in person. God bless.